Welcome back to the channel. It's a brand new day and it's a good day to be alive. We are blessed and we are grateful. I'm kind of doing an impromptu vlog today. Very unprepared. But obviously we are shooting as we are living this life. If you're new on this channel, please subscribe to the channel and stay. Thank you for clicking on this video. And if you're coming back, you're a subscriber, you're a regular. Thank you so much for your support. I truly, truly appreciate you. I know exactly who you are. And I appreciate your support. So today we it's Sunday. We didn't go to church because it is quite cold and Ovi was a little bit sick the past few days. So he stayed at home and he was not going to school so he can just recover. Today he's feeling a lot better. Still sick, but a lot better. And he was desperate to go out today, you guys. Like he's been saying he wants to go out and play. So we came to what's the name of this place again? The olive fat olive. Um, it's a nice place for family, for kitties, and Ovi is sleeping. So we're going to wake him up now, and then we're going to go inside, and I'll show you around. Let's go. The person that we brought here is we have accommodation, okay. fast asleep. Oh, shit. a beautiful beautiful place here yeah. and this kitty's play area driver please take me to the shop okay, okay. drive safe yeah. where's your seat belt mm -hmm. there okay seat belt when you speak all i can hear is silence turn it back from all the pain and violence big tunes that we speak to
Hard, ah, uh ah, -uh. my feet, ah, uh, I can't. You don't hear my line no more. Oh, oh, you don't make it ring. Keep this on the low. I want you to make it ring, 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 ring. It used to be on my line, on my tick, all the time. Yeah. Loving when you make me feel like you don't mind when I ain't got time for you. But we don't go to my head. I'm only ever getting bad. I just love to know you wanna spend time with me. Now you won't caught up, yeah, you won't caught up, yeah, you done left me alone, yeah. You was on fat, ready for the next love, wanna be on your own. Baby, I just miss you, I just miss us, baby. Cause you don't hit my line no more, oh, you don't make it ring, 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 ring. I can't keep this all alone, oh. To make it bring, bring. Good morning, my dolls. Good morning. I trust you are well. <laughs> Welcome to a brand new day. I can't remember if I introduced the vlog, but if you're new on this channel, please click on the subscribe button and stay. And if you're coming back, thank you for your support. I truly, truly, truly appreciate you. It's a brand new day and it's a good day to be alive. And that's me. Period. So today is Tuesday, you guys, and I'm actually. I'm trying to amp myself up and to just be awake and to just have enthusiasm. <laughs> I'm forcing it because it's quite early, it's cold, and I have literally an hour to get over ready, um, giving breakfast, preparing from school for school, and then we are out. So I don't have much time. This weather has been making me feel all sorts of just tired, gloomy. I just want to rest like I've been literally in my resting era and I'm trying to just pick myself up and give myself that you know so good morning you guys and I'll catch up with you guys later on after school drop off let's go from the stores and school drop off so i actually made an impromptu impromptu stop at the stores the mandate was to drop ovi off and then go and get him some of the 
food supplies that he needs and in true Solani fashion I ended up in the stores and I've got a couple of things that I will share with you if you would like me to you probably would right you would ne? <laughs> so let me share it with you anyway in case there's something that you might like um yeah I ended up at the stores I've been there the whole morning but I'm back now and I changed into a comfy PJ a nice maroon satin PJ we love satin in this household obviously can you see I think you can our pillows are also satin because see satin is the way to go it's good for your skin it's good for your hair it's comfortable sleep like a princess um so that's why i actually in, even ended up at the one f um house homeware store oh my tongue homeware store because i bought the satin pillowcases there and i was hoping to find more but they don't have so i'll look on Shein for those or woolies if they have but yeah so i've been feeling a little bit like under the weather a little bit i don't know if it's because of the gloomy weather but i've been in like my resting era just resting just chilling just taking it easy so i haven't been vlogging much but today i just want to i wanted to like amp myself up and just get myself in the zone so that i can just get into it you know happy you need to you need to build the momentum up it's just not gonna happen you need to build the momentum so and i'm wondering what am i going to be doing this winter because normally a lot of my vlogs are outside of the house and obviously i'm not trying to be outside of the house when it's cold so we need to be creative and figure out what we're going to be doing this winter for vlogging or for content maybe we'll do a couple of sit down videos i don't know if you guys have any ideas anything that you'd like to see from me let me know so that i can start preparing myself for change and what else guys it's my birthday month this month shout out to you if you are a taurus baby <laughs> it's my birthday month and i really like to do a giveaway i think it's about time i did a giveaway so if you guys have any ideas of what i can do because i'd obviously want to give away something that you guys are going to enjoy something that's going to be of value to you so just give me a couple of ideas in the comment section so that i can show you guys my appreciation we're on seventy-three thousand subscribers and i appreciate all of you guys who have subscribed all of you guys who come back to watch the videos truly 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 appreciate it it goes a long way um so i really want to give back and do a giveaway for you guys so we can start the giveaway anytime from now once we have concluded the ideas up until my birthday which will be the 24th of april i have no idea what i'm gonna do for my birthday and funny enough i'm not really that concerned about it i'm not like i would normally celebrate my birthday any chance i get to celebrate myself i will celebrate myself I'll encourage anybody to celebrate themselves. If you don't celebrate your birthdays, please celebrate yourself. Please celebrate your birthdays. Um, I'd always encourage anyone to do that. But for some reason, this year, I'm not thinking about what I'm going to do for my birthday. I feel like <laughs> I'm just letting things just happen. So I'll definitely maybe order a cake at least. Um, and maybe some balloons. But I don't know what I'm actually going to be doing. But yeah, I think doing a giveaway would be really nice. Um, I'm building a community and this year I said I want to build a community on my YouTube. And I appreciate all my new friends, my internet friends that I have made this year. And yeah, I just want to give something back to you guys and show my appreciation. So give me some ideas and yeah, we'll run with it. So let me do a quick face. I want to do a face for a video that I want to shoot about the equipment that you can get as a new YouTuber. So I think I'll do like a simple face right now and then I'll show you guys what I picked up at the store. See you now. <laughs> Oh, all I 
let you go, go, go. Won't let you go. Okay, hi guys. Um, I hope I'm in the frame. Let me check. Alrighty, seems like I'm in the frame. We good? All right. So, let me do a quick haul. I just had my breakfast. It is what time is it now? It's around twelve. So, I can break my fast. It's 12 30 actually. I break my oh music. I break my fast at 11. But sometimes it just happens that. How do I? Yeah. Sometimes it just happens that I eat even a lot later. Um, like I said, I was roaming around the shop sometimes it because I woke up actually hungry this morning. It actually helps sometimes to just be busy so you can just forget about food. So I stretched it. So let me start with PQ. So I went to PQ clothing to look for some winter clothes for Ovi, specifically for school. Um, because that boy, I don't know, his shoes come back like chirped, torn, because they play, right? So I avoid buying clothes from like Woolworths, H&M, Cotton On for school purposes so i tried to go to like pq and ackermans and pep to look for nice um items that he can wear to school but still um reasonable so that when he's playing and they tear and they muddy and everything i don't have an issue with it because my heart breaks if i take him to school with like a zara item and it comes back looking funny i can't handle it so i've got a cute the nice thing about um pq the nice thing about pq you guys is they actually get items from zara um fashion nova um, river island those kind of stores so you do get nice items you just have to have an eye and just look around and find items that are suitable for you you have to go through see those rails you have to go through those rails there are hidden gems in those rails those stores have a lot of stuff you just have to take your time and look through so i know that for kids especially they have a lot of lot of items if you are a girl mom listen you're gonna have a variety of items to choose from so i went there because i was actually looking for boots because now it's rainy and it's cold and you know we love dressing them in these rainy boots and we've bought two pairs already from i've i bought one from kiddo kiddo is good quality than i got from cotton on so he gravitates more to these cotton on ones i'm not really sure because the kiddo ones are a bit more heavier but let me tell you something the cotton on ones did not even last he wore these ones throughout winter 2023 and they are already literally like broken and chirped and like they look look at that and i think these we bought for about 300 if not 400 somewhere around look inside <laughs> so i was like no honey we're not doing that for school we're gonna get some cheapos so that if they break or tear or whatever then it's not a big deal but i find that actually the items from these stores are actually not they're not necessarily bad quality they're good quality just from all sorts of 
different stores so i got these um from pq got them in black which are very cute and they seem very durable very strong and these i got for 80 bucks so he's going to be wearing this throughout winter to school and i'm going to just check if they have maybe because when i asked the lady are they going to get more stuff they said yes so i'm going to go and look for maybe another pair that's like a different color then he can do a swappies for school then i've got these which are so so cute i know zara had something like this for kitties these are so pretty i love them these are big they're definitely not gonna fit him right now uh but they are a size 10 and he's currently a size 8 so i'm sure after winter let's see they are a little bit they are big so after winter maybe in the summer or even next year summertime he'll be able to probably wear these but even if he does not get because this is big shame <laughs> this is actually big if he doesn't get to the size by next year it's fine i'll still keep them i really like them i think they are very pretty i had to get them and then i got him these slippers because he goes through slippers like i don't know what so i got him these cute slippers and these were 50 bucks from pq and i forgot to tell you the price for these these were 80 bucks from pq so these are nice and then I also got him a new gown because I had to give away his gowns. I got this gown, which has like a PlayStation thingamajiggy pattern on it, which is cute. And this was 90 Rand. So these are nice. And obviously with toddlers or babies in general, they go through clothes really, really quickly. So when it comes to buying from... Oh, damn. Hold on. All right, so when it comes to buying from like Zara, H&M, you can buy that. Um, I personally buy that for like occasions, birthday parties, when we're going out for lunch, those kind of vibes. Then I want him to dress cute and everything. But if we're going to go out, specifically even for play dates and stuff, I want my son to be comfortable. I don't want to be looking at him and sad eyeing him when he's rolling on the floor in his expensive Zara clothes. I'm not doing that so there are specific items that i'll buy for good vibes um maybe i can show you what we got him from h&m just one him from h&m this would obviously be something that he would wear out um this jacket very cute very nice got him this jacket um some of the items he has worn already so i won't show it today the sweater very cute um, this t-shirt i got my nephew the same because obviously they have to match i think i was with gogo when we bought these um this is cute i think we were with granny when we got these and matching jeans like so look at the smileys aren't they cute so yeah this is like the kind of clothes that maybe he will wear when we go out proper and then for school we just keep it and that okay so i normally do buy like um like one size bigger so that it's not like fitting fitting to the t and then i've got myself this is still now from pq um two jerseys and i saw quite a lot of jerseys there but i just didn't want to get worked up and <laughs> just buy a whole lot of jerseys unnecessarily so i'm giving these a test run and let me plug you guys the quality of these jerseys is so nice i got this jersey and this i will wear it with like a white shirt inside and then uh jeans or leather pants so i love this because it's very versatile i got one of these and this was 150 and this is from jennifer i don't know jennifer I'm not sure. then i got another jersey which is very pretty from pq in cream 
i love a cream i don't really like white in winter i love cream i think it's so pretty this is also from like a jennifer and i always just go one size bigger because with these stores um they get clothing from zara and all those stores but you find that they are like some or other factory fault so if you t if you're a size small rather get a size medium if you're a medium rather get a large because normally the sizes are not make sure hence they take them to those stores but these are the two jerseys that i got for winter which is 150 each and for this jersey at H&M, you're paying at least 350, 400 rand, even more. So I love that store for that. And if I'm not into the jerseys anymore, I can give them away without feeling any type of way. So now let's get to the home wear. Okay, so I went to Woolies to get Ovi some food. And then I passed by Mr. Price to get a blankie. I got this blankie just for vibes if we are going somewhere or um if we're sitting outside or on the couch or whatever i already have like a throw for the couch but i love this this is pretty this is from mr price and this was 369 rand for winter i really wish they had more styles because I'm not into the pink and the like random colored throws. I like your neutral, natural colors. I like anything that looks like fur, especially for winter. Um, so I just got this one because I like it. And is that all I got from Mr. Price? Oh, and then I got frames. I already have... And then I got frames. I already have frames... Uh, by my doorway when you enter the house but um the one broke so I, they don't have it anymore so i had to go for these ones so the only difference is the one i currently have here by the gold it is black so i'm gonna change it from black to gold and i've got three of these uh these are on the hallway and the ones that are on the hallway now i'm just gonna put it in of his room and just do a swappies so that's all i got from mr price and then i went to continental linen i love that store hey i love that store i just i was passing and then i just saw 50 percent 50 percent 50 percent everywhere you would have seen in the previous clip and i remember i bought my satin pillowcases there i've bought a few things from there already and i really love their items their items are really good and they are reasonable compared to at home and all those other stores they are so so reasonable so i got this for the bed really nice so my bed is obviously we do grays whites we do like a goldish color so this will definitely go well there's some a little bit of browns in there as well so this would go well with white browns grays anything so i got this and it's like a throw as well and i got these hand towels that were also on special love the gold detail there so this i'm gonna just hang in our bathroom like so oh wait turn it around it's giving hotel vibes isn't it like that i love it i love it love it love it love it i've got two of these for the toilet and the bathroom and then i'm gonna go and get more i really wanted to see how it's gonna look like but i'm definitely gonna go, go and get the actual bath towels and then more of the hand towels and if you like la crusette but obviously we know that is a very expensive brand and i've been looking around the internet trying to find some sets from la crusade that i like and i can't get myself to spend that much money like i'm just like ah, homeware is so expensive but i am gonna buy it i'm definitely gonna buy it because it's an investment for your home but for 
for my girlies for my girlies that like things like me and on a budget why is there one <laughs> i'm gonna have to go back i remember the lady opened this box to check so i don't know if she forgot to put it back or what but it should be a set of two uh stoneware ramekin set of two this you can obviously use for vegetables as a side soup um fruits whatever you want to do this is so cute and it's definitely giving la crusade they actually have um different colors literally all sorts of colors your blues grays green i think i saw red so i'm definitely gonna go back for more of these i wanted to just see if this is gonna go and definitely the color is giving the theme of my home but why is there one hey, well. hmm? i'll go check maybe it fell i don't know and then i got this candle you would have seen in the video already large candle for it was definitely not 139 all of these things were on special so i think it was 50 percent of this if i'm not mistaken cute candle that smells delish so you guys please go and check out the store for these because they are so pretty and the quality is as good so while we're still saving for our la Puse collection let's go and get ourselves this i'm gonna have to go back maybe today if not tomorrow and ask them what happened to my set because why is there one why and then i'll get the jar so they did have a jar that i liked but it seemed oh, the blind is making a noise it seemed like it's a the jar is too big and i would have preferred a smaller jar where you can put like milk in it but they don't have that but now when i get home i realize i could have actually gotten the jar and used it for uh kitchen utensils you know so i'll probably get the jar when i go back and all of that was pretty cheap you guys it was 474 rand for all of that which is quite reasonable all of these things were discounted so check out continental linen store they've got some nice stuff i know they have one in is it cremerville um, it's like a factory outlet, so you'll get it for even cheaper if you go to Cremerville. So, I need to get going and start shooting my content for Melanin the Coach. So, I'll see you guys tomorrow. Hello, darlings. Welcome to a new day. Um, so, today is the day I woke up to go and try and sort out... Um, my items that i got from continental linen so i'm headed there so i can get them to fix it for me um, i'm sure they made a mistake and i hope they remember but i do have my slurp and the box and everything oh i'm gonna go through them. i have everything that i need to take with me and then thereafter i need to go and collect um a package there's something that I ordered, like homeware stuff, um, but I think I won't do a haul for those uh, for that delivery that I'm getting today because I've already done like homeware stuff hauls, <laughs> and I think it's enough for this video. So in the next video, I will share with you guys what I got, um, and obviously I just want to take a look at it if it's nice, if it's something to share with other people. So I'm driving to Continental Linen now. And guys, I did not sleep well at all. Well, I slept well. I just slept late. I didn't even take over to school. Daddy had to step in today. Because mommy stayed up watching this YouTube channel that I can't get enough of. You guys, like, I kid you not. That channel is funny, shocking, mind-blowing. Like, the things that are happening on that channel... It's called Afrimix English and it's pretty much about stories of people in Africa and yeah, their stories are crazy, crazy stories. The one guy sleeps in a coffin. 
he refuses to sleep on a bed he sleeps in a coffin um and he's happy sleeping in a coffin he says he would literally rather die um before anyone gets him out of his coffin then there's another story of a lady who's married to three men happily married to these three men and one of the men is literally her brother-in-law <laughs> One of the men is literally her brother-in-law and they all live together, all three of them, very happy, doing life. Um, and she takes care of them. Like she is the breadwinner. She takes care of all three men, buys them phones, buys them clothes. Listen, she is set. <laughs> Another story is a father who made her do his daughter no, two siblings, actually, a brother and a sister who decided to get married and have kids together. They have four kids together. Or is it three? Somewhere there. Then there's a lady who has 48 children by one man who definitely ditched her. She is raising 48 children alone she gave birth to these children apparently she has like a condition like a over excessive ovaries or something like that i'm sorry i can't remember but something of that nature the man ditched on her she takes care of all these children by herself so if you go to i think it's from uganda if you go to uganda they call her mama uganda so this is like stories from countries like the congo uganda kenya tanzania like their stories are mind blowing. <laughs> they are mind blowing. And funny enough, like all these American, like white ladies, like rich American white ladies, literally leave their country, their homes to go and have like relationships with the men that they meet while they're traveling to like these countries. And they pretty much go and live in the village with these men. And a lot of them, the, 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 the men are way younger than them. And the one white lady says, listen, now I understand what they meant when they say, once you go black, you never go back. Because she is so happy that she had to move from America, leave her, listen, her estates and everything to go live in Uganda with this young man in the village. Wow. You guys, let me go in because people are now staring at me, asking themselves why I'm having a full-blown conversation with myself, but they don't know that I'm having a full-blown conversation with my friends on the internet. <laughs> so let's go fix this and go fetch our package. Today, I'm literally just going to be at home um, editing. I'm not really going to be doing much today. And I might film another video today if I have the strength. But I want to really edit and prepare my video for Sunday. And then I can continue shooting content. Let's go. There's continental linen, right, you guys? So uh, let me zoom in and show you. Do you see all of those yellow blackies? That's why I ended up going there. Because of all of that. <laughs> And the sale is sailing, so let me go inside. So when is your um, special running? Last stops last. last. Okay, no problem. Yes, thank you. Okay, so all that's done. All went well, no hassles. I got my complete set. I also got the, um, the jar. The cups that they have, they are $6.99. What's the price again now? It was from $8.99. Is it $8.99? Or triple nine to $6.99 for the cups. They are six cups, but then they have different, they come as a set of different colors and I don't want them to have um, different colors. I would have loved white but i think when they like these different colors they'll look nice if your kitchen has like a shelf and then you're just literally putting them there as display i think that looks nice let me go child because the people will be staring at me and no let's go 
okay so i got my package <laughs> the funniest thing happened literally as i was entering the store the people at the store were so happy to see me you guys like i could have sworn i'm a celebrity or something but i think they are genuinely such lovely people they were also lovely very conversational and there's a guy who was at work and he's doing like these lotto machines type of thing so he says to me have you ever um played lotto i'm like no i've never played lotto i don't play lotto he's like well today you're gonna play lotto today is your lucky day i'm like okay <laughs> first of all why is my package being delivered at a place that's so far from my house a weird place that i've never been to second of all then i meet this man who's telling me am i feeling like it today do i want to play lotto then he explains to me how the lotto thing works and everything very sweet very like very polite man um love his personality he loves his job then we play the lotto and my uh birth date is on there the date and the month i'm like what <laughs> what is this am i gonna win the lotto what is this <laughs> so i played lotto for the first time and i hope i don't get addicted to playing lotto and i hope i win <laughs> i hope i win because that 20 rand better come back to me but anyway that was fun that was like it's so nice to go to stores and actually encounter such friendly people because a lot of the times we really don't get to see that so that's cute and all so i'm on my way home oh and he bought me a coke how sweet is that he bought me a thank you for bitching the lotto he bought me a coke so thank you tepo shout out to you so i'm on my way home i just want to go home and be in my zoom and start working Hi darlings, it is another day and I am, um, I actually did a lot already today. We went out um, running some errands, got back home and then I had to quickly rush out again so that I can go meet up with Mali Weiwei. We have our last meeting just to finalize our financial stuff. <laughs> and yeah i don't know you guys today i'm feeling just a bit under the weather and i feel like it happens to me a lot around the time when my birthday is around the corner um i tend to feel a little bit down for some reason i don't know i'm just not excited let me just say it like that um but definitely when my birthday comes i will be excited but days leading up to I'm not really excited I don't know why it, it happens to me a lot um well every year um and I'm aware of it I'm, I'm, I'm self-aware that it happens a lot so today yeah I'm gonna do that and then I'm gonna go sit at a restaurant probably the restaurant we've been to before either bootlegger or um what's that other restaurant I've been before that one either one of the two so that I can just do some editing and finish up a vlog so that I can get it ready for Sunday and if you're still watching up until this far thank you so much my dolls truly truly appreciate it if you are still watching comment with a champagne glass because we're gonna have a mimosa <laughs> I need a mimosa to pick me up and then we will go pick up Ovi around four so right now it is quarter to 12 so i'm just gonna meet up with my livery right quick and maybe i can convince her to go out with me if she's not too busy because she is at work but i know she's very flexible so let's go oh i got my camera lights finally got my camera lights i went to pick it up today from amira thank you for keeping it safe for me my doll 
Guys, I've been waiting for these lights for literally, is it four months? I've ordered them in November and it was supposed to be delivered within 10 to 15 working days from a store called Reliable Stores. So obviously they are not reliable because I'm only getting the lights now in April. But I'm grateful the lights have finally reached me and will I go and order there again? Absolutely not. So you do with that information what you will. I wouldn't advise that you do. The point is not to bash them, but to just be honest, their delivery was definitely not reliable. So they are definitely not their name. But I'm excited to have the lights and start filming with the lights. I'm excited to see what difference it'll make to my videos or my filming when I'm at home. So yeah, let's start our day. All things that happen to us are not there so that we can stew in them and let them become a lifestyle that we drag through our lives, but they're there to teach us. So how do you do that? How do you turn the pain into power? Number one, you look at whatever's happening, you say to yourself, what is this here to teach me? What is this pain signaling inside of me? And how can I grow from this? And you know, today I realized that that's something I've been saying for a while and it's something I've now learned to do. Every single time that's something I realize now that every single time something happens, the first question I ask myself is, what is this here to teach me? What that allows me to do is get the lesson out of the pain and not just move on from it and move forward with the pain but to move away from it get my lesson keep moving so it's about that turning your pain into power unpacking it step by step what is it here to teach me then I look at every single grain of my life is it showing me this is it showing me that but patient with myself also mm. it's not about sort of getting to the end of that it's about saying here's an assessment something is happening the universe is trying to tell me something what do I need to ass assess what, what do I need to find out about myself? And that's how we turn our pain into power and not into a lifestyle. And that's a breakaway note. Okay, we're here. Let's quickly go inside. Ooh. Not my bag. I could go inside and sign my life away. Okay. Check you guys when I'm done with them eating. Alright, see. Can I have uh, a mimosa? And then just the breakfast menu. Is it this one? Uh, oh, brunch menu. Yes. It's already. Uh, pizza. pizza. Thank you. Hey. Tender in my lawn Put down forehead They say I'm selfish Out in the real once more yeah. Wash out my way My feelings dirty I'm just craving for Somebody's baby Oh no I can't get that love Love for myself Say everybody's fine But they can't be yeah. uh -huh. Even if they wanted to do Even if they try As they envy you but you belong to someone and I'm singing I'm just craving for somebody Say everybody's fine but they can't be yeah. uh -huh. Even if they want it to do Even if they try as they envy you uh -huh. But you belong to someone and I'm singing I'm just craving for somebody's baby Oh no, no I can't give that love Love for myself so i'm gonna end it here thank you so much for watching up until this far thank you for subscribing for liking for commenting for not skipping the ads because i know you mad okay because a girl needs to get some coins thank you guys thank you thank you thank you and i'll see you on my next video bye you got the right impression maybe i'm impressed oh the feeling shook you one day so forget oh you got a man and i can't remind you 
before the camera catch me for, for